Hey guys, this is Steve at Option Income. Hey, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stocks and earning an option income. Hey, I'm not a financial planner. This isn't financial advice. These are just transactions and research I do in my accounts and you can just learn by watching. Hey guys, in today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is um, my smaller Robinhood uh, account. And what I'm trying to do in that account that's a little different than prior strategies um, is just going with uh, smaller collateral uh, trades that um, you know define my risk and give me a little bit more reward as far as percentages go. And I'm really you know trying to look at more how much am I making as a percentage um, just first than you know hitting a home run. I'm just trying to do smaller trades. They're giving me a high percentage in this small account, you know, to grow it into a larger account. Now, what I wanted to talk about um, in this video was a new um, strategy or option trade that I'm going to be doing, um, which is more of an iron condor. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to trade options on SPY, on SPY or the S&P 500 for December. I believe that the S&P 500 will probably be higher, um, maybe, you know, at the end of December going into January. I don't know how high. So, uh, you know, but I also feel like there could be potential for a pullback too, a short-term pullback. So I'm going to, um, you know, position this iron condor and I'm going to set the expiration for the end of December. So I'm going to show you how I do that and kind of what I'm picking as far as safety and then also, um, you know, minimizing my risk on this. So, again, this is just transactions I'm doing in my account, guys. This isn't a recommendation, but um, I'm just going to show you the mechanics of how I'm doing it. So if I type in SPY here, OK, I'm waiting for this to boot up. This is, again, the weekend. So. Um, just take that in mind. The options aren't active right now. So this is just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to click on trade um, SPY options. Okay, so I'm going to go up here um, on the initial leg. What I'm going to be doing on this SPY, I'm going to walk through each step. But first we're going to set the expiration date because I want to go out um, to the 30 day mark. Okay, so these are all going to be set for 30 days out. And, you know, it says sell put, so we'll start there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell the uh, 577. So let's go down. Okay, so if you look at this one, this strike that I'm picking here, um, this is showing a 577. Uh, put and so what I'm going to do is click on that and I'll show you you know the delta is at a 0.1388 so extremely you know low delta which means you know high probability of um, you know success on this so I'm picking this 0.1388 delta and you can see implied volatility is about 15 percent so not real high but but you know that's fine so um, let's go ahead and click on that. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down um, and I'm going to buy a put underneath it. So now this just, um, for one, it reduces the amount of collateral that I need. Okay, so I went below and picked the uh, 574 put and it's showing a $1.70. So I selected that. And so you can see right now, this is a put credit spread and it would be paying me about 19 cents here. Now, if you go down here, the expected profit and loss, uh, because of the bid ask spread, I'll probably get a little bit more than that 19 cents. It's basically just showing, um, you know, $22 max profit, max loss would be 278. So that's not really that fantastic, but now let's do the second leg. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to sell the call. So I'm going to click on sell the call. Okay, so right now, of course, the price is about 603. So I'm going to go up here and again, I'm going to pick something fairly high up here. This is the 620 um, strike price. So that's at 86.4% chance of profit. If I click in here, you'll see the delta is fairly small, 0.1604. So that's the delta. Implied volatility is showing 8.5%. So if I click on this one, okay, that gives me a credit of $1.22. Now I'm going to buy the call above that. So I'm going to go up here and I'll pick the 622. Okay, so now you can see the complete. Uh, this is um, saying short iron condor. And that's what I'm placing here. So if I go down here now, you can see the max profit is $49. My max loss would be $251. So if you just look at it as your max loss is 251 and your max profit is 49, you know, if you just took the 49 divided by the 250, you know, it's roughly 20% on what you could lose. So, um, you know, right now the break even on this, the spread would be 576 to 620. Okay, so that's what I was going to place this iron condor. And just remember this 576 and 620. When I go in and look at a chart, I took a, a look at the Bollinger Bands, and this is actually on a four hour chart. Now, if you look at the like outside band, this is showing 6100 at the top of the band, and it's basically showing about 5793 at the bottom. So basically where I have these set is outside of those bands, you know. Um, so I don't really expect that. And this is at a three standard deviation. That's what I set in, about a three standard deviation. So just looking at that, that's how I set up my strikes and just also looking at the delta. So if you look at this, this is a daily on the Finviz chart. And you can see right now the RSI is, you know, starting to get near overbought at this 66 uh, level. But who knows how long it may stay that way. But I'm looking at the upper band here of this chart at being about 605. Um, you know, even if it went a little above that to 608, I don't think it's really going to reach um, my level. And then if it falls back. And even if it would fall back here, I'm looking at about 580. So, you know, this 580-ish range. And, you know, I have my strike set at 577. So anything in between this, as long as it stays in between, this iron condor, you know, should be relatively successful. So anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to kind of show you what I was doing. Um, this is going to be my trade here. You know, hopefully I can get the $49. And just remember, this is just one contract. So if I wanted to bump my percentages up and use maybe 20, 30% of the portfolio and, you know, generate maybe 100 to 150 bucks uh, profit into that, I could do two to three contracts um, if I want to. So, you know, just always remember that you can multiply the contracts um, to juice up this portfolio a little bit if you really believe, you know, this is going to stay within these boundaries or it's very likely that it'll stay within those boundaries. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of being safe using SPY, just using the S&P 500. I'm going way out, you know, with really small deltas and I'm still, you know, getting a nice about 20% on the um, amount of money that I'm going to be using. So anyway, guys, uh, what are you doing in December? I'm curious, uh, what kind of option trades are you using? Um, you know, what kind of symbols are you using? Um, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious 
how you guys are trading um, this upcoming potential Santa Claus rally in December. Um, okay, guys, I hope you liked the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Um, really appreciate that, hitting the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to watch all of our videos.